frick, how am I going to start this episode? Watch as the wild Ursa goes through the barren lands of a random homeless man's house. I know that's a bit of an oxymoron, but Ursas don't care about oxymorons. So, so stop asking stupid questions. Was this opening as shit as I think it is? Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Ryan Reacts. Today we're checking out a sort of suggestion video. A suggestion by many of the people who watch my Rupee series. And they suggested that I should watch the World of Remnant videos. So I have a bit of a question though. I know you guys really want me to avoid spoilers at all costs. So, for this, I'm only going to watch the Ruby Volume 2 World of Remnant videos. But I want to ask you guys if it matters. If it doesn't, I'll do another video uh, next week on the other uh, uh, parts of World of Remnant. But uh, for now, we're just going to watch uh, 1 through 4? So I realized the fourth one technically isn't made by Rooster Teeth, so I have no idea if I should watch it. The playlist I found has the first three, and then it has ENG CHI Sub Ruby World of Remnant 4 uh, Aura. Oh, for everyone who keeps asking, it's not a RT official on the RT official website because it was exclusive to the Blu ray slash DVD release. Well, shit, now I don't know if I still want to watch it because I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> Because it's an extra. Uh, if you guys want me to watch it, I'll watch it, I guess. But I, I kind of feel funny about it just because it's, you know, a special and hasn't been uploaded by them. So for now, I won't watch it. But if you guys want me to watch it when I watch the uh, the other parts, I'll do it. But I'm looking forward to this video because I've been curious about the, um, the Grim for quite a while now. Um, they're kind of like this enigma that's kind of explained, but kind of not explained. Really, the only explanation so far is, let's some big baddies. Let's stab them repeatedly with our nearest weapon. And then shoot them. Because this is Ruby. And we shoot everything. Ruby, there's a spider in her room. <laughs> <laughs> what? what was that, Ruby? You have a sniper rifle. No, no, we have a, a spare Gatling gun in our room just in case of spider incidents. But of course, folks, if you like, check out the original link and more from the original content creator, which is Rooster Teeth. The link will be in the description. And of course, I'll watch the other parts if there is no spoilers, but I really don't know. Uh, just write in the comments if it is. And now that I've said that, there's going to be hundreds of people. Spoilers! So many spoilers! In the next episode, we've got a guy who wears a wizard hat, which spoils that the main villain's a wizard. And so I was going to watch the video. I'm super excited to see what kind of wacky adventures. I kind of want coffee. But I'm still recording. And I'm too lazy to pause it because that means I have to sync it back up. You guys won't judge me. You guys won't judge me. I just need a little sip. Just a little sip. Just a little sip. Just a little sip. Okay, I'm ready now. Alright, Ryan, there's probably gonna be a lot of information, so don't open your big yappa through the whole thing and ruin it for everyone. Dust. Well, this is what I asked for. <laughs> Dust. By definition, it is a naturally occurring energy propellant that can be triggered by the aura of humans and Made fauna. by that pesky wood. But in reality, it is much, much more. And you have your you make sneeze. Forms, dust can be combined both artificially and naturally to form new stronger. You mean guns? Guns, 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 guns. That's, that's, I'm pretty sure that's all it makes. Since its discovery, man has concocted a multitude of ways in which to harness the powers of these mysterious crystals. From airships to androids, dust has made its So Penny's made of pure dust? Facet of technology. Some huh. Prefer to Is that why she sneezes? Oh, she hiccups. <laughs> yet destructive. Wow, wait, buddy! Do you like Zeus? If he had a lot of rocks. 
to ensure that their resulting powers. What discipline? All he did was open his Lego hand. Dust ammunition serves as a more practical application in today's modern society. With the technological. It does kind of make sense with that type of gun, because they're. You know. Warriors need simply choose the right cartridge for the job and pull the trigger. That's told me. While this is like it's, a, it's like a method, big Atari use, cartridge. It's not <clears throat> to find individuals still what? practicing more archaic forms. He was Superman. What a turn of. Such as weaving it into clothing. <laughs> Or even fusing it directly with their But he just lit on fire. I don't think I was dust. I think so he, he was a little too flammable. Despite working, fighting, and even turning a profit with it, humanity has still yet to understand how dust came I thought the be. answer was just science. And more importantly, how their involvement with dust will ultimately change the world of Remnant. Wow, it goes always. That's crazy. Hey, speaking of which, I was re I'm rewatching Full Metal Alchemist, the original one with John, and uh, one of the funniest things to me is rewatching it and him being like, <laughs> <laughs> makes magical thing. Science! It's all about science, folks. No, no such thing as magic. That's for sure. <laughs> it does. It makes me laugh every time. That literally anything that could be like, like they try to explain it. But then, like, when you get to the root of the explanation, it's just like, It's science! Freaking love the science, man! Bill Nye's coming up there, freaking making fireballs out of his hand. This is how science works. If you believe, fire comes out. But if you... If, you gotta know the elements, bud. You gotta know the elements to make fire come out of your hand. That's science. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most unexplained science ever. I think that's what makes it beautiful. Teach me about your kingdoms. Does he wear a cool crown? It better be big. Other and it better have a gun on it. <laughs> Look, the head is. The world of remnant oh. is a dangerous place. This is a kingdom. This is space. Particularly for man. How come the moon's blown up? In the Piccolo! Has roamed the planet. Civilizations have Wait, fell. pause. I got to pause right here. We gotta have a little word. I can't be the only one that sees it, right? When you look at this picture, what do you see? Well, first off, you probably see, hey, Ryan, that that's that's literally the definition of like a Rorschach test. Guys, we gotta make a map. What should we do? I went to my psychiatrist and sold the shit. Perfect! Our map! Anyways, let's see. Uh, one thing I gotta mention that I'm never gonna unsee. Oh, winking girl. That is a sassy winking girl. It looks like a Pokemon. You know that Maletta thing? That's what? Oh, also this looks like a dragon holding an anvil over that mountain's head. Or it may be a giant mouth like, oh, I'm, I'm hungry, bud. Oh God, Ryan. <laughs> they had to make that look like a dragon. That looked like a winking girl, right? It's not just the Rorschach test tricking me into admitting my feelings. I was touched as a young child by a Rambunctious chipmunk. Damn it, science! Why'd you make me say it? He was cute, though. All right, I forgive him. Thanks, science. But four have withstood the test of time. Atlas, Mistral, Winky Face, Vacuo, Veil. These four what about dragon holding an anvil? ...and human tenacity have proven that they have the will to survive. Each kingdom has a governing council to represent the people. Oh, shadow the people! Next from the, you the know, military. Mario well, Galaxy. Most kingdoms only call on its citizens to serve when needed. Others find it important to be prepared. Mm. There are still those who choose to venture outside the walls of the kingdoms. Roaming nomads in small oh, villages. They're gonna the get home. dysentery. The I played the video game. To disappear. Yeah. Damn Lastly, dysentery! The Huntsman Academies. These institutions' sole purpose is to train the next generation of huntsmen. And the derpy young teenage girls. That will live and die to protect the lifestyle that they've become so accustomed to. Hey guys, yes, can I be a party group? The world of Remnant is indeed a dangerous place. But the Four Kingdoms stand as beacons of hope. As safe havens from the darkness that surrounds them. 
They are the key to mankind's survival as long as they stand united. Uh oh! That sounds like foreshadowing there, a uh, Mrs. Video. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I mean, Ryan, you do, but you, you, you've got this thing in your head where there's an island of dragons that no one talks about. I'm just saying, I, it's got, that's got to have, like, there's got to be, like, dragons on that island, right? If there's no freaking dragons on that island, except just, like, an old man named Greg. I'm an old man named Greg. I live on this island that's in the shape of a dragon. What's he do? I offer club sandwiches. Nothing gets Ryan more excited than some club sandwiches. Tell me about my beautiful friends. <sighs> Graham. Why do they spell it two M's? Whoever created that's an asshole. The or didn't want to be copyrighted. Grim, a ravenous, destructive force that covers the majority <laughs> what? of What? <laughs> They're trying the to take over the world? Grim. Well, I didn't know much about these animals. to mankind. For as long as humanity Spooky black monsters, of course. Of remnant, so do they remember this wicked force. Hmm. Oh, no! Many ancient cultures believed the creatures of Grimm to be animals possessed by evil spirits, or perhaps the spirits of tortured animals themselves. What? However, further oh. study, as well as the discovery of newer, more horrific forms of Grimm. Have they been around forever? This hypothesis. Yeah, right, bud? New creatures oh, God, I've gone through puberty! Scientists find themselves with more questions than answers. That, no, no, what? That is an answer! Origin, some key facts have been observed in the wild. First Watch out, and bud. Foremost, the Grimm exclusively attack humans and their creations. Oh. Uh. Between wildlife and Grimm have occurred. These instances appear to be based on. <laughs> oh, I think it's like I see nothing, bud. Rather than a need for sustenance. Ooh. In fact, the common belief is that the Grimm are not obligated to feed. Oh. They choose to. What well, that's spooky. Even more unsettling is the basis of their attraction. The creatures of Grimm are lured towards negative emotion. Boy, then the freaking Weiss must be a magnet to them. <laughs> that or Blake, she's their kind of a negative Nancy too. Guaranteed, as widespread panic will only lead to more attacks. Little else I was in there. He's like, we heard your thoughts about Glinda. Keeping them in captivity has proven to be an understandably difficult task, as the creatures tend to either die or kill those who imprisoned them in the first place. Yikes! To further complicate study, the corpse of a Grim will only remain for a short period of time before completely evaporating. Those How are they born? The beasts for is that port? Particularly upsetting, but manage to get by with cheap taxidermic recreations and bombastic storytelling. <laughs> Although the creatures of the yeah, it poor. Appear mindless, more delicate observation has proven contradictory. It has been noted that while younger Grimm tend to be more reckless, Older Grimm, who have managed to survive their battles, have oh, the tendency frick. to learn from their experience. And Thanks, evolution. In the future. This perverse form of self-preservation allows the creatures to become... Oh, please just be a, a comical smack. Oh. I thought I'd have some great Batman. Killing is all that matters. Well, that didn't answer anything. <laughs> I think the most interesting was the bit about, um, ki well, hinting at uh, their birthplace. But how are they born? Do, do they, is, is there sex? Is there, is there sex? Give me the deets. <laughs> Ryan, you're going to get a link of just all, all grim porn. And I don't want to see that. Okay, maybe I like to see it if it if it gives me some answers like just the bird and scorpion back No one was ready for it. I mean I was, I had popcorn, but nobody else was ready for that. So I was gonna ask, uh the big question I wanted to know, um, when were they like uh were they always around? And of course they didn't answer this. And if you answer it, 
more than likely it's a spoiler, so it's kind of a pointless vastness. But I'm going to bring it up anyways. Were they born right away? Like, were they always on Earth? Or was there a set time? Because they said it was the evil spirit, like, evil spirits and animals, and they said something about, like, when animals die, they come into this. And I wonder if this is related to the shit that happened to the faunuses. But anyways, those were three interesting videos. I don't know if I learned much about it. I think the second one, The Kingdoms, is actually the one I learned the most about. Like, Dust, I kind of knew it was pretty much just like, did you know Dust makes magic? And the Grim was kind of just like, they're a rambunctious bunch of tykes. Didn't even explain the elephants. They call them the peanut penalizers. Anyone with peanuts are getting... They're getting it. <laughs> uh, I've inadvertently fallen in love with those elephants. Oh yeah, when they were implying that, like, as time goes on, they get bigger. Were they implying that they get smarter? Or were they just implying that... They grew bigger and stronger. I, I I guess I should... Hold on, let me rewatch it real quick. Mmm. So it does kind of say they got smarter in a way. They said they really learned from their their mistakes. So the beasts are learning. That's that's some spooky ass shit right there. You don't want you don't want freaking wolves to learn. Sooner or later they're gonna be putting on grandma's dresses and eating people. S knock it off, buddy. That was a nice little old lady. You dickhead. One of these days, a huntsman. Oh, I see what they did there. It's gonna take an axe and probably have a gun on it and shoot you. Because that's how this world works. God bless America. God bless it. I didn't, you know, I just thought about that. How bad is that? First American made anime. All have guns. Oh, man. Oh, no. Japan's gonna eat that shit up, aren't they? They all think we're Yosemite Sam. Not far off, you know. It's true. We're all just tiny little men shooting guns. <laughs> oh, you're gonna piss someone off, right? Oh, also, I should mention, I'm gonna add the comments to this video to the end of uh, of Friday's Ruby episode. So I won't just read uh, last episode. I'll read this if there's some interesting comments. I don't know how it's gonna go. But if there's like a conversation brought up, I'll bring it up at the end of the next episode. Also, folks, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video. And have a nice day. That's right. Switched it up. Aren't I an innovator? No, you're not, Ryan. All right, Ryan, you know how all your episodes end with a ship, Ryan. What would uh, what would an Urza x Ryan be? Mm. The bare necessities. <laughs> 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 mm. I'm way too proud of that.